Hey everyone, this is David Brown from Lycobirds. In this video, I will teach you the basics of identifying red-tailed hawks. Red tails are in juvenile plumage for one year, then molt into adult plumage. First, let's look at the similarities. If you look at the shoulder area of both birds, you see dark areas called patagial bars. The other hawks in the Budio genus, such as broad-winged hawks and red-shouldered hawks, do not have these markings. Now, look at the body of the hawks. We see a dark belly band that contrasts with the clean upper breast. The darkness of this band varies between individuals. What differences do you see? Look at the tails. The adult has a red tail. The juvenile has a lighter tail with thin brown banding. The adult has a dark trailing edge to the wings that the juvenile lacks. The shape of the red-tailed hawk is very important to learn because it is used as a reference when identifying other species of raptors. When we say that a cooper's hawk has a long tail, we mean this in comparison to the red-tailed hawk. Let's take a look at the top side. The tail of the adult is bold red. The tail of the juvenile is brown with dark banding. Notice the paler square area on the wings of the juvenile. These feathers are translucent and this pattern is often visible from below on sunny days. Here we have different postures. On the left is a glide with closed tail and wingtips slightly pulled back giving the wings a rounded leading edge and straight trailing edge. On the bottom right, we have a dive or stoop as the red tail plummets toward the ground in chase of prey. At the top right, we see that the red tail holds its wings in a slight V or dihedral when soaring. Red tailed hawks often perch in trees and on light poles, especially along highways. The belly band is a good field mark to look for when perched. Red-tailed hawks have a lot of regional differences. The subspecies in the west tend to be more heavily marked and some individuals are dark morphs. In the east, we see heavily marked individuals in the winter that have migrated south from the northern population. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more educational birding content. You can also visit our website at lycobirds.com. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.